Is it possible to combine the power of order flow and predictive harmonic structures inside of a scalping strategy? Indeed, indeed it is. We are going to teach you tonight the strategy called the Plover. Welcome to the Quant Trader's Guide to Algobox. If you've not done so already, make sure and smash that like button if you want to learn this strategy. Welcome aboard. My name is Vinny e. Mini. I'm going to be guiding you through this here tonight. Of course, head on over here to Discord to get involved with the chat and learn about this strategy. And of course, you can download the two-week free trial. That is a prerequisite to get into this program. You're going to need that. So go ahead and go download it. Maybe while we are taking care of some of this housekeeping, let's get this thing rolling. Alrighty then, so we are assuming you have Ninja Trader already installed, you're in the two week free trial, or if you are in our program, you already have gone through lessons one through four, got your installation ready to go, and you are familiar with lessons one through six. If you've not done those, those lessons one through six are also down in the description, down in the bottom of this video, so you know and understand the core before you get into the execution of this scalping strategy. With that being said, let's bring up that Discord channel here. Um, stay till the end of the video and I'm going to show you guys some results from today. Robster crushing at 5,800. We got a 5,500 from Remol. Robster, how did Robster do here today? 50, oh, that was that the same one? No, they're all around 5k today. You guys absolutely smashed it. Excellent work. Ken 1,700. We'll go through some of those results here at the end. So hang in for that if you get to the end with us here. Let's go into the plover what exactly is the plover again uh, these videos we're going straight into the entry components again you're going to need to make sure you know the prerequisites before you get to these levels but again the point of these is to be succinct and straight to the point with uh, how we are entering and exiting if you are looking up the plover entry what exactly that is you're going to come to this video to find that out all right so we are combining the power of order flow plus a harmonic structure all right, so what do we need with that? Order flow. All right, so two components we're going to need for this, the harmonic structure, predictive. Now, if you're not familiar with the harmonic structures that we post forward, we are showing you the, uh, the end result of a harmonic before it reaches that location. That is what you're seeing right here. If it is yellow, if you see a yellow box on the screen, that means this is a location where a harmonic is going to complete. Okay, so not to be confused with an actual harmonic that is already formed, we are looking at a location that has not formed yet, which is where some of the power in this structure comes or with this strategy comes from we are going to assume that we are going to complete out a harmonic structure a little bit different you know traditionally a harmonic structure is going to be used for the prz the prz inside of a harmonic structure is the potential reversal zone as you may already know we went over that in some of our prior videos so i'm not going to get into those details here tonight go back and watch those videos or ask there in our discord chat and we'll kind of direct you to those but you need to know what we're looking at here in this screenshot here that we're looking at in a live example this is going to be a uh, a cipher completion i believe hold on nope i'm wrong i see a diamond down here let's resume this back here so there's already a where's the red cipher at here in this screenshot oh it might be both oh they're crossing over right here even more powerful okay this is actually a good example i kind of wish i would have held this one till uh, till the end to show a more advanced, but we are actually going to be showing two harmonic structures going to be completing at the same location. I can see that we've got two crossover points there on this, and this can happen. This is two PRZ locations, which makes this even a more attractive zone for price to go into. We kind of assume this is like a magnet sucking price right into it. So again, while we call this a scalping strategy, you guys know that most of our strategies, we are not scalpers, right? That is not our primary thing. In fact, if you watch the majority of our other um, trading videos and our strategies, those are not scalps, okay? This is one of our few, if not the only one, maybe besides the two finger salute, 
that is specifically more of a scalping strategy because of the distance between the entry point and the target. Okay, so what we're using here is the harmonic structure predictive zone for the target. And I'm gonna show you guys the entry, the stops, and the targets as we get into this using Algobox. This is very, very visual, very easy to see. Um, you can probably see and anticipate what this is already, but here's how it works. You need an entry on the Flow Master Order Flow Cross. Okay, what is that? The Flow Master Cross right there. Now, this is the white cross, not to be confused with the other two colors we have. We do have blues and yellows. You'll learn that in the Flow Master course. But what we're using here to combine this inside of the Plover strategy is the combination of the Flow Master Cross being your entry point and the target being the predictive harmonic PRZ. Okay, you guys got that? If you guys understand that, let me know down in the comments down below. Be like, yeah, I got it, understand it, love this strategy. Very, very simple. We are executing entry right here. We are targeting right here, hence the scalp, right? Between this and this, we don't know specifically how far the distance is on these, when these go, but we are trying to enter as quickly and as close to the middle of that cross as we possibly can. We wanna get in right there, bullseye in the center, you know, using that like a crosshair on a reticle, and uh, we're talking about gaming all the time, the target on that right here. Now, um, let's look at, so in this case, this one had built up to 22 contracts. The distance from the entry to the target here, we are entering in at 26,811 up to 820. So we're looking at about nine ticks here. If we're getting into the back of the box, um, this can be around 10 ticks. Now, this one, it depends. Some people say 10 ticks is a scalp, some people don't, right? For us in general, again, this could be any distance, okay? It doesn't matter, this could be five ticks away, six, eight, 10, 12. We've had some that are larger. I'm gonna show you guys some examples of that. But the primary understanding is that you've got the distance between a cross and a PRZ. Now, there are there is more to this. What you need beforehand, okay? Prerequisites to this, um, you'll want some of the other things from uh, from the order of operations to add confluence to this trade. However, other prerequisites that we want on every one of these, okay, you need a straight leg. Okay, what does that mean? If you do not have a straight leg, folks, it's not a plover. Okay, just know, write this down. This should be in your notes. Prereqs. You need a straight leg to take that plover entry. In this case, the straight leg is this right here. Okay, let me uh, do this in blue and hold the shift so we get a nice straight line. Okay, with this, I don't want to see some squiggliness. I don't want to see a leg that uh, with P for price and make it a little bit smaller. I don't want to see da 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 da, da and then across and then a box okay this is not this is not a plover okay not a plover why this straight leg is the key to what we need okay we'll explain that a little bit more here in just a moment why you need that but the straight leg indicates that we have um, a distribution leg coming okay and we want to finish out a distribution leg now if it's choppy prior um, so if we come in here and we got choppa choppa chop boom straight leg we're good okay you guys got that this this is a valid this is a valid one right here if I'm gonna have um, my shift button here we go okay and then we've got our PRZ target Great, okay, the primary thing is that we've got this nice straight leg here that we're working off of, and then boom, we got this order flow volume spike coming in that's gonna help us to oomph, get right into that PRZ. Okay, you guys got that? So that's it, that's what the beautiful part of this strategy, very simple, very straightforward, straight leg, got a harmonic PRZ up in front of us, then boom, all of a sudden, that white cross shows up. Okay, now let's show some live examples 
of that going. So in this case, um, let's zoom in here, 150, that should work. So this was the entry to it. Let's see the finish on this one. Now, this one happened to add uh, another white cross coming here. Just helps us even more to kind of get that thing boosted and going. This beast came right in and, you know, we've got that target coming up. This is going to be about uh, around $1,000, maybe $1,100, $1,200 trade um, at that contract size. And again, sizing is is relative to your own account. You know, that uh, it depends on what market you're trading as well. This one happens to be on the Dow. Um, I should also talk, let's talk about this. Other markets where this works. Okay. So again, any of our strategies works on all markets, but let's talk about markets that this works best on. Okay. Now again, if you're trading stocks, that's a whole other gamut. Remember, we focus on e-minis in here, and we have a list of our e-minis, but we want something in general, we want fast, okay? Fast. So if you're a stock person, okay, you're looking for a fast instrument. Um, you know, there are some slow things like a Walmart. Walmart's not moving too quick, but more of a tech might be good in our case we have the NASDAQ, right? The big one for us is NQ. NQ is the number one instrument that we're gonna be looking for a plover on. This is gonna move fast, move quickly, and we want to see that mm, burst and move, pow, pow, take your money, hit very quickly in and out on this type of style, okay? So in order, in our room, I'm gonna show you guys the list of these in order from speed top to bottom for the instruments that we trade in here. But I'll tell you some ones that might have a little bit more difficulty on would be like the ES. Now the ES is a bit slower. You're also gonna have a hard time on the Zs, ZBs. If you're trading Forex, again, Snorex, these are not gonna show up as often. Now, if they show up, take them. By all means, take them but they are very, very rare on slower markets, okay? You will notice that, um, that order flow really has to do with that. You know, we're gonna have uh, harmonics that are, uh, the PRZs that are targetable for other entries, but really not for this one. You'll notice you don't see the plovers very often. However, other exceptions to that are, what about what happens when we have a high VIX? Okay, another classic for the plover when we've got high VIX, which right now, this type of market environment, wow, we're getting a thunderstorm out here. The high VIX is also helping us a lot with this trade strategy. The high VIX is getting us uh, opportunities here, even in the ES, getting paid $12.50 per tick on the S&P 500 E-mini, okay? Now, in this case, this was a Dow, fine, totally valid on basically, like I said, any instrument, as long as it shows up. But the things that help that are high VIX. In low VIX markets, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult to find this setup, but hopefully you guys get that point. If you guys have questions on any of that, put it down in the comments down below. We'll try to get those answered for you, okay? Um, let's see it in action. There it is, completed out, looks like. So at this point, this trade is not closed out yet, but it's over $1,000 up to here. Just basically from this location right here up to this spot right there, that is a thousand dollar trade right there. And if we're going for 5K in a day, you're looking for our five trades, that one puts it away real quick. Nice little trade set up right there. Easy peasy. Here's what it looks like in motion. Let's see if I can uh, zoom in a little bit more on this, All right? Thing shows up. You should see this be gold. And then when we hit, it turns red. Now, you, I would normally, when I see this thing turn red, I'm punching the close button, okay? Uh, this one, it looks like. Yeah, this is when we only had we only had some stops down here. Now the stop location on this is a little bit trickier. Our default ATM is going to put our stops either at 15 or 25, depending on what the current market conditions are doing. As you guys know and you'll learn from videos one through six. However, my stop. Um, let's go back to the very first one. I want my stop at the bottom of the cross. It's as simple as that. Okay. So if this trade ends up, boom, we're getting in right here. We're trying to get long. Where's my stop? I've got a stop. Let's do it in red here. Right there. Very small stop. This can adjust. Uh, again, if you're trading this on an Algobar 1s, it's different than a 3, a 5, or an 8. 
the cross size is adaptable, is um, you know rel relative to the instrument and what uh, I'm sorry, not the instrument, but relative to the um, chart time frame that this is coming in on. Okay, we're gonna oh by the way, only using this on algo bars. Okay, this is not to be used on range bars, not time bars. You need to run this on algo bars. Okay, and again, this will work on all of them. One, two, three, five, and eight. Okay, we don't really have any others that we use on that. I don't recommend any uh, any other time frames. That's what we use for our entry charts. Um, but that's it. Okay, stop goes right there. Now, you see that my stops on this um, entry are not right there on that. Right, this is my default. But technically speaking, where should I move these, right? I should move these up and put it right there. This is a hard stop that goes right there. But, you know, you can always press the close button. You guys know how we use this in our trading system. We've got our, you know, six little buttons that we're using right there. And we can just press the close button just as easily. Okay. All right. Let's see some other live examples on this. Um, if you are wanting to come back and find these later in our room, head on over here. To the left hand side menu you go into the education section and right there you'll see the strat plover again all of our strats are listed over there on the left inside of our discord channel but you can check that out by going right there and i'm going to run through these pretty quickly mainly the ones that are in action um here's curtis taking one with uh, is this a gif yeah so nice one right there that is from cg got a nice little entry right there you know, he didn't move his stop up. Again, the default stop right there. These go so fast. Oftentimes, you don't even have time to move your stop. That's another thing about this nice little scalp strategy. You know, pulling in a few hundred dollars up to, you know, a thousand dollars on any one of these little strategies is, uh, is going to be quick. And sometimes you don't have time. Look, here's another one. Okay. When I enter in on this, looks like this is a default, probably 25 tick stop by default. My stop underneath this cross should be right here. Okay, so when, when we enter into this trade, I am entering in quickly, but if the trade starts to break down and we break past here, what am I doing? Right, we're punching the close button. Okay, get very familiar with that close button. We learn how to lose well in our middle 40 days. Again, our training program is 120 days. First 40 days you're watching videos. Middle 40 days we are executing in sim with market replay as our primaries. And you need to learn how to use that close button. Losing well is a very key skill. So I'm closing out right there underneath that cross. If it doesn't work, just bail it, bail on it. Okay. Um, I will show you some examples where it did not work. That's always important to know. Now you'll notice where did I put my target on this? I put it all the way up here into the middle. It really does not matter where you end up taking this. You could hold this all the way up and through, but if you're going to do that up to the top, I usually recommend still taking your target one at the front of this box. You ought to pull off some right here, some at each one of these levels inside of the PRZ. If you want to get clever with it and try to turn this into more than a scalp and try to ride a position longer, especially if you have things like the audio box firing off telling you that you've got a great run going on right there due to the audio coming in, the aggressiveness of the buyers and sellers on the tape, then you may want to hold that position out. In my case right here, it looks like I'm on this trade, particularly I was hitting this kind of in the middle ish and it looks like we went basically straight to it awesome okay real easy to see okay i think you guys get it um uh, here's a bigger one i call this a big plover now i usually do not recommend taking one like this um i think somebody mentioned this one showed this out it's like hey is that a plover this one is but in reality i would not take this at, at a plover at this distance okay there are some things that you kind of need to you'll start to eyeball just because you see a prz down there Yes, we had a nice straight leg. Yes, we had a PRZ down there. So you can, but if the thing doesn't work, just again, bail out. What's the beautiful thing about these setups is that they're, they're so powerful and they're so easy to see, you know, in, in such a small amount of risk, it's, it's really a good, you know, good setup. But there's an example of a big one. Um, let's see if we've got some, is that a double? I think that was from the end of that one. Okay, here's a plover that didn't work. Okay, so we had a nice straight leg down. Boom, we had the cross, right? I'm targeting this PRZ, but this one came up right there, right? So where's my stop? Right there, right? So there's a, there's one that didn't work. They're not perfect. Okay, um, let's see if we got any others. This is out of range, but the line could cross. Okay, 
So another one where somebody had said, hey, I've got a, I, this looks like, it looks like a plover, okay? Be careful of, you know, once you're a plover trader, be careful, you're, see, don't, you don't wanna see plovers everywhere. Again, a plover should be, you know, within 10 to 15 ticks tops, okay? And really even shorter than that. Shoot, if it's, if it's any shorter than 10, all day, okay? We're looking for that scalp trade for these, getting that finisher. Um, but somebody had called us out and said, hey, you know, is this, is this a valid one? And I said, really, that's out of range. And by out of range, I mean, that's a pretty good distance um, to try to take that that far. That's not gonna happen very often but you'll have to learn those as you try to execute on these. And again, you can adjust your size um, as well to, um, you know, to increase your P&L, which is you know, something we teach in our final, final 40 days um, through our program. Okay, pullover trade. Um, okay, so this one, this is a nice one. We had this, it's a little bit weird and tricky, but we had a nice straight leg in front of it. Boom, we see this cross, a little bit of a unique one right here. Um, I probably did not hold this all the way up to the top. I'm still gonna probably take this off at about 10 ticks or so. But again, a nice one where I've got the very, very evident straight leg, white cross, and I had a PRZ prior to this. This is an after shot, um, unfortunately. Let's see if we've got some more that are pre. Um, let's see, this was Simon showing this one off. PRZ, nice straight leg. It's still a little bit too far in my opinion, but you know, it obviously hit, so excellent. And there was a line right there in front of it. I don't know that I would have held that all the way out to that, um, but nice, nice example there. Okay, um, that's it, folks. Hopefully you guys got a lot out of that. Um, let's take a peek. I told you guys I'm gonna show you guys some results. Let's see how the trade room did here today. It is Thursday, the uh, last day of the month. Oh, I'm sorry, no, it's after midnight now. That's why it's the 31st. This is the 30th today and let's take a peek at uh, some of those results we always talk about around here results matter um and our room just absolutely crushed it today don't forget that saturday we are we're pretty much getting rid of the lifetime access stuff everything will no longer be available via lifetime so if you are interested in getting in our program don't forget that does expire saturday we're launching the new youtube channel i guess i should also mention that as well um, but make sure you guys smash that like button before you head off and subscribe the notifications will still come here but this channel will be archived um, lots of good training on this channel but everything going forward will be ninja trader 8 um, to kind of show all that we've showcased ninja trader 7 for the last five years uh, so in ninja trader 8 coming up there on the weekend holy shnikes i was just trying i was staring at this thing curtis hit 100 percent profitable today 36.25 for cg robster 58.87.50 5.92 profit factor. Holy shnikes. That means his winners were six times the size of the losers. That is amazing, amazing work there, my friend. 94% today. Excellent work there for Mr. Remel. Robster, what's Robster doing here? He hit 64% uh, profitable today. 3.49. Oops, I just covered that up. 3.5, so that is his winners being 3.5 times the size of his losers, 58, 87, 50. Amazing work there. Um, Ken, $1,700 in his live account. Let's, uh, didn't get his stats on that, but uh, anyhow, absolutely smashing. We'll keep this video a little bit shorter right there at 20 minutes. Thanks for hanging out, folks. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the plover uh, you guys give me your feedback on that execute on it install that two-week free trial if you are new with us and start to execute on that and let me know how you do thanks for hanging out hanging out folks for me pippy robbie bloodspot mod squad curtis g and the rest of the gang i'm sitting out that big h town see ya